Hello, I'm early today. And I'm Mr. Luther's ears up against me. Hello, what's up? We're home from the Fiber Festival. And I just have a sock today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just gonna knit a sock. That's it. Because, you know, hello. Oh, Pete's here. How's your spinning going, Pete? Carla, hello. She said, hello, sweet Trish and fantastic tribe. I hope you had a fun trip. It was very fun. Hello, a beer, Julie. It's romper room time. Hello, Shannon and Derek. Carla said, I have gone further down the fiber rabbit hole and have ordered my first raw wool to process. Not a full fleece, but 10 ounces total. That's a good way to start. Five black and five fawn. What? I don't... Is that a breed? I've never heard of that. She said, you... Cat... Cat Moje? Phew, what was I thinking? Uh-oh, Margarita's kids are being annoying again. That's her words, not mine. Pete loves his knitting. I get it, Pete. You know what? Just keep hanging there. Hello, Angie. What's everybody been up to? Um, hi, Nyla and Jerry. Aaron said, seeing the pictures from the Fiber Festival were awesome. It was, I mean, I had a great, great time. We left early because it was supposed to storm yesterday afternoon and today. I'm not sure what it's actually doing weather-wise down there because we're like a little under an hour and a half away. It's fine here. It's nice. Hello, Molly. Elizabeth had a lovely haul worth of stuff. You guys probably saw it on the Facebook group. Hello, Elizabeth. And I got to meet her. I met a bunch of you. A beer said, sitting with mint tea, waiting for the tribe. Hello, Carrie. I got to meet Carrie. Hello, Deb. Angie said, I ordered an electric eel wheel six today after getting feedback from the squad on Facebook. I've heard great things. Hello, Karen. How are you? <laughs> Hello, George. George is finishing a chicken. So he can make it a sundress. I mean, just a regular Sunday at George's house. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Are you crocheting a chicken, George? What is happening? Are you cooking one and you're going to make it a dress? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Margarita said they're fighting over the peanut butter and marshmallow fluff. Uh-oh. Carrie said that Angie, you'll love it about the electric eel wheel six. There's no fast way to say that. Even if I say E-E-W, it's like the same number of syllables. You know, it is faster to type though. Lisa said, hey, hi everyone. Mint tea sounds good a beer, but I confess to a glass of red wine. It is 7 p.m. here. Lisa, I don't think I realized you were in the UK. Maybe I did. Hello, Sarah. It was, it was really fun. I had a lot of fun. Carrie bought fleeces. Crystal said, George Wallace, that is an excellent way to pass the time. <laughs> John made me a margarita right before we started. And this is my margarita glass. Don't worry, there's not a lot of tequila in it. It's fine. No sugar. Oh, yarn chicken. No, he's going to make it a sundress. That can't be right. Angie said to Carrie, I'm really looking forward to it. I have lots to spin. George knitted a chicken. Okay. Pete is watching Christmas movies. I love it. What are you watching, Pete? I love Christmas movies. I have like probably four or five that I feel like it is not Christmas until I have watched those. All of them. Sorry, I just scared Luther. <laughs> Carrie said I can call it the ew. 
had to say it like that. Andy said, nothing but water drinking here. Just got off the rowing machine. You are so virtuous, Andy. I'm impressed. I was like going to get up and weed for an hour outside and I haven't done hardly anything. Chris said it's 1 p.m. and I'm in the white wine making chili. It's 1 p.m. on Sunday. It's relaxing day. Elizabeth, <laughs> don't worry, Elizabeth. There's like one shot of tequila in here and that's it. And I mean, I won't have any more today. I wouldn't have even had that if he hadn't made it for me. Mmm. Lisa said, tiny little Scottish island on the west coast. If I look west, you're probably in my vision. Hello. I just looked north. That probably wouldn't do it. East is that way. <laughs> Hello. Crystal said, I have a thing for chickens, though. The illegal rooster living in the neighborhood is a pain in the butt. I'm not a rooster fan, I'm not going to lie. Our neighbors had one for a while, and he crowed all day, like all day. And he's not that close, so it really wasn't annoying, but every once in a while you'd be outside, maybe relaxing by the pool, and be like, oh my god, what just happened? <laughs> Carrie said, I sure did get some fleeces. Margarita, yes, she did. Um, I got two also. I'm going to show them about, I'm going to show them in the video about the festival. I think it's going to be the Tuesday video. It could be the week after, but it should be this week. Um, Margarita said, tell John I could use one that size too. It's not strong, I promise you. Chris said, eager to hear about the festival. Lots of fun. Kim said, hello, hello, Kim. Misty said, hey, hey, everyone, spent my morning cleaning up a new spinning wheel. Here to listen now that I have done finished fish tanks. to We can keep Misty company while she cleans the fish tanks. Hi, Kimberly. She said, I'm desperately trying to get some major chores done before our Boston vacation in nine days. Fun. Hello, Shetland Spinner. A beer said, Lisa, you're in Scotland. So magical. I feel like those little islands would be super magical. Like, are you close to the Shetland Islands? Isn't the Hebrides Islands right along there? I'm so bad at geography. I'm so sorry if I've got that wrong. Please forgive me for not knowing this stuff and then saying it because I could just, but no. Lisa, dumb phone had to turn off off my phone oh oh it didn't rain this morning huh pete said i have certain films for december but for now any kim i love it kim said okay trish i have you on the tv so it's like you're in the same room we're just hanging out kim just hanging out with a bunch of our friends aaron said i should probably be weaving or knitting but I have so much to do today maybe later i hope you get some done later Hello, Teresa. Elizabeth said, I so thought you were going to say the neighbors had a rooster and he was really tasty. I, they did have one, but I think they gave him away. They may have eaten him. I don't think so, though. Crystal said, I live in a trailer court. They are legal to have, except this is a closed community and it's in the rules. No farm type critters and no plastic pink flamingos. Carrie said, I can't wait to see them. Did you find the booth of Jacobs? I did. Um, she said, Aaron, your life will be so much fiber. That's true. Kimberly said, I've already done nearly 8,000 steps today just doing farm work. Lots of shoveling and wheelbarrow hauling. Wow. Alice said, oh, wait a minute. I may have a drop stitch here. Let's fix it. It's not dropped. I just missed it. I'm sorry. I probably missed something there. No. Alice said, Crystal, no plastic flamingos. Hilariously, hilariously silly. Karen's got a chicken story. I actually have heard a few of your chicken stories, Karen, and I love them. She said, Pet Rooster has a favorite hen, poor thing. I saw her running from him, so I intervened, fell over the hen, landed face down. Rooster decided to run, peck my head. Okay, I'm okay, Ego Bruce. Is that recent, Karen? Are you all right for real? Terry's knitting baby hats for charity on her knitting group here in King City. She said, we have meetings on Thursdays. I'm trying to get some done for that. That's cool. Hello, Robin. She said, well, hello, distraction. Well, hello. Hello, Rita. I got your message. I will have to talk to you about it a little bit because you gave me the exact address that they said 
no to. And so if I pay for it again, then that's the problem because, you know, then the money's spent twice. So we got to just talk about it. Uh, maybe I have to talk to the post office. But anyway, I did get it. I just got it this morning. Lisa said, I'm in the Hebride. Did I, did I pronounce it wrong? She said, you take a ferry west from the Isle of Skye. Shetland is off the northeast coast. Okay. Aaron said, Carrie, I know right fiber all day, every day. I can't imagine. You're going to have the best time. Angie said, I hope those Jacob are nicer than the VM horror, filled horror I got 200 grams of. Angie, if you want a good place to buy Jacob, I have been buying them there for like 10 years. Not every single year, but I have bought fleeces there for, no, like 13 years. And they are wonderful. They're wonderful. And the owner is wonderful. A beer said to Lisa, I really want to visit your part of the world. John and I do too. Robin said, I'm meant to be going to my allotment. There may be no water to do anything with the oh, hose pipe. Oh, I've heard that you guys are super dry this year. Uh, there will still be weeds, Robin. <laughs> Not trying to get you to go. Honestly, I went, came home, went in the garden, and it was full of mosquitoes. And I was like, I'm just going to get back to this later this week. I might have to beat it down with like a scythe, honestly. Lisa said, you're welcome, Abir. Been talking to Eileen about a retreat. How fun. Angie said to Carrie, I bought mine online. I can't get to shows. You, you mean your electric eel wheel, Angie? Rita said, hey, Carrie and the rest. Heard you all had a great time this weekend. It was very fun. Uh-oh, Carrie's having trouble. <laughs> She's sorry. Hello, Rico. He said, good day, fellows. Why didn't I realize until a few days ago that the long tail cast on is basically continental knitting? It is basically a first knitted row. A beer said, makes sense. You're all in the same neighborhood and only a seven hour flight from me. Hello, Goddess Crochet. She said, hello, Trish, Carrie, and everyone. Hope you're all healthy, taking care of yourself, and making time for fiber. I feel like I, I don't make time. It just takes over my life, honestly. Rita said, Rico, I knit American and also use the long tail cast on. You can still use it, Rita. I mean, it's, it's just that you basically continental knitted the first row. Gary said, Dan says, hi. Hi, Dan. He's on his way out the door to pick up a couple of wash tubs for her. Well, you got to wash those fleeces, right? Where are you getting them? Are you getting them at like tractor supply or do you have a tractor supply there? I don't really know your area. Kim said, I'm starting a new knitting journey today. One of my tax tasks blah, to complete this year, learning color work, Fair Isle. That's exciting, Kim. I finished... Um, uh oh, Eileen said, Hey, everyone here with the sound off. So can't hear you in the bus on my way home. I forgot my earphones. Don't want to be annoying other passengers. All oh. yes, it is one of those red double deckers. Um, Kim, I just finished the hood of that poncho, that fair isle poncho I've been working on almost since the beginning of the year. But so now all I have to do is steak it and sew it all together and block it. And the sewing won't even be that much and I can machine sew it. So I thought I would do a quick little video on cutting, like cutting a steak. Do you guys even care? I just thought I'd do it cause I'm about to do it anyway, but I really don't. I mean, if no one cares, then I don't really need to. A beer said, Lisa, a winter trip would be great. So I can wear all my hand knits. That's a good idea. Aaron said, Kim, that's awesome. Eileen said, yay, Kim, go for it. So much fun. Jerry, hello, Jerry. She said, good to be with you all. Crystal said, there are no cast on rules. You can wind yarn around a needle and start knitting. You can. I find that a little hard because I end up like it's so, it's so tight, but you totally, you can do so many things. 
Shannon said, oh my gosh, Carrie changed my life. Mentioning scarcity versus abundance. I can't thank you enough. It's a total shift in the thinking, isn't it, Shannon? It's awesome. It's really changed my thinking even a little bit too. And I've never, as far as yarn goes, I've never been a scarcity thinker, but it is still changing some things now that I have like put that all together in my brain. Chris said, have you knitted the, I don't know, something sticknings technique, Trish? If so, would you have any suggestions on holding and throwing the twist? yarns I feel uncoordinated is that where you hold it in the two hands Elizabeth wants a video Lisa want okay I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna make it not scary how do you like them apples I can do it I already started I'm almost ready to start filming um Rito said look at that's the way to look at it Crystal uh, a beer said yes please I'm afraid of cutting wool okay Yes, Karen said there are tons of, there are many ways to do it, so it'll only be one way. Carrie said we have a tractor supply, but believe it or not, they don't have good wash tubs. He found some at Walmart. Awesome. And got me a couple. I like them so much. He's getting me a couple more. That's good. You can do double. Crystal said the closer I get to having to steak, the less I work on that sweater. <laughs> have you done it before? Angie said, what is steaking? Angie, it's when you knit in the round because you're doing color work and purling when you're doing color work is not impossible, but you have to like, it goes slower for most people and you have to think harder. So most of the time you just knit it in the round and then you like secure it. I'll show you. And then you cut it. There's different ways to secure it. There's different ways to do all that stuff. So I just figured since I'm going to do it anyway, maybe I'd film it. <laughs> Um, gosh, you guys are going fast. Kim said, yes, please. Steaking is much harder than streaking. I don't know about that, Kim, as I am plenty willing to cut my knitting up, but I am definitely not willing to do the other one. No. Robin said, I got a rooster by mistake once as a chick. I ended up getting overrun. Uh oh. Okay, I'm going to film it then. Carrie says, Shannon, Trish, Carla, oh, thank you. It makes my heart happy to know I've helped people. I feel that way, too. George is interested, too. All right, cool. Oh, Chris, I have not done it where you twist with every stitch. So I guess I haven't done that. But I, I do hold them in one hand, and I do twist them. I just don't do it on every stitch. There is a video, I think. But maybe it's time for me to do a new one. I will definitely put that on my list, Chris, because it was a, several years ago. So I'll do a new one. Robin said yes to steaking. Cutting knitting is always a scary thrill. Hello, Deborah. Shannon said to Carrie, you are always so positive, so awesome. She's fun in real life, too. Goddess Crochet said, can you steak without sewing? You can. I'm actually... I'm trying to decide right now which technique I'm going to use. But yes, you can. You do not have to sew. Crystal said, I made my stuffed monkey a sweater where I steaked it for experience, but the monkey isn't going to complain if this, exactly if the sweater doesn't fit right. Angie said, oh, cool. I'll wait for the video then. It won't be long. I want to cut it like today, but I won't be ready to film it all today. So I'm also trying to figure out if I should um block it first I haven't decided on that uh, uh oh Kimberly had a I'm sorry you're going it went too fast uh, a sheep I'm sure some of you guys have got to see it I didn't get to it fast enough I am sorry Margaret forgot it was Sunday hello knitting doll clothes at the moment Eileen has to check out we'll be glad to see you back but we don't want you car sick Lisa said to Kimberly, what is your name and why are there no photos of your poor sheep? I have now caught number two of my North Ronaldsy and it's sheared. Only one more to go. I do shear your own, Lisa. That's amazing. I love that. Chris said, thank you. It really twists the yarn up, but that might. The way I do it, it does not twist it. So it might be something that 
is just different from what I'm doing, but I will show you what I do. I'll show you what I do. Maybe it'll help. You don't know, right? Kimberly said it was sad yet hilarious to see a little Shetland running around the yard sporting a huge cattle. Oh no, that's what I miss. Cattle panel collar. We freed her without harm. Good. Welcome, Teresa. You'll be glad to know. I think we're going to process one of the um, fleeces that I got at the festival in the members area. So you're not going to miss it now. A beer said, thanks to Lisa and Eileen. I have a capsule wool wardrobe to knit for a Scottish adventure. That's fun. There were, uh, there was a couple at the festival dressed in like full Highland outfit. The whole thing. And the guy looked like he had knitted kilt hose on. I can't, I didn't get too close. He probably was like, okay, weirdo. <laughs> Can you back off my socks, okay? Lisa said, hi, Margaret. Seriously, can people really knit, spin, craft while keeping up with this chat? Does anybody? Carrie, that's not true. Carrie said, Trish is a good example of being positive. I'm really such a pessimist. I was born a pessimist, but I am working really hard on changing my mindset and you know what has changed a lot for me and I had no for a long time this is interesting maybe a side note I don't know it is a side note for a long time I was like okay people are like you got to work on that but they don't tell you what to do <laughs> to actually work on it so I'm reading this book called doing the work and I'm like journaling daily on a little list of whatever um, phrases and what I want to focus on for that day. And it's really making a big difference like fast. Rita said, no, I had to stop spinning when I realized Trish was live. Kimberly said, I'm Kimberly and I will share photos of my flock. Yes. Carrie said, a beer, what a great idea. Oh, Margaret said, I don't say much. I just listen. You know what? You're not alone, Margaret. There's plenty of people who just come and listen. And just like craft with us and, you know, have fun. I hope so. Teresa said that'll be fun to watch. Elizabeth said I tried to get a picture of that couple, but it came out blurry. Oh, you'll just have to come back next year. Carrie said it was so sticky yesterday. I can't imagine wearing a kilt. It was probably nice and breezy. <laughs> Kim said I have to go... I have to do one or the other. I'm not fancy enough to craft and type. I'm sorry, Kim. I know. Uh, Elky, I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing it right. I've seen Elky before. Said hello from Germany. Barons, I assume. I don't, that's how we would pronounce it here, but those would be Dutch Barons's. Lee said I was sweating to death in a tank and shorts. I would have died in all wool. <laughs> goddess crochet said men in kilts that's a nice topping to a fiber festival a beer said carry knit for everyone in my life but rarely for myself perfect opportunity hello sunny deborah said never saw your video i know deborah it's done though and it will be coming I've been gone like since Tuesday and it took me like two days to get our camper and get packed and everything. That sounds ridiculous, right? But it did really. So, um, it's coming. I promise. I had no editing time at all. Lisa said, have you seen the clever Fox journals? They are really great for getting focused on goals. I have and use a clever Fox gratitude journal. And that also helps me too, because I'm looking every day during the day now for things to put in my journal. So I think about like what I'm grateful for a lot during the, throughout the day. You know what I mean? And that is like such a mindset changer, but it's not always good to be positive all the time. You know, it's okay to not be grateful every single second. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alice said, to Lisa somewhat. I'm crocheting right now, but I can't do it without looking like Trish does. I can't crochet without looking, Alice, if that makes you feel any better. Rita said, so far I've never seen a negative thought from Trish Carey or anyone else. Y'all inspire me. I appreciate that, but I have plenty of negative thoughts. 
I just, they're inside thoughts. <laughs> Aaron said, I can't keep up with the chat. I am excited about the police processing video. I'm excited too, but we're going to quick vote first on which one or which one to do first. You know, because I, I can do both. I don't mind. Hello, Jelaine. Shannon agrees with Rita. That's so nice. You guys are so sweet. People are being so nice to me lately. I don't know what to do with myself. She said, just watch Dying with Your Husband. Yes, that is my husband. He is quite the dyer, isn't he? Chris said, you come across as the opposite of pessimistic. We're just speaking things into being, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Rico said getting an urge to knit square panels. Oh, on the Centro, we little squares to use however. That's an interesting idea. I like it. Jelaine said sitting here on a screen porch outside it just started raining. I'm sorting through and combing a recently scoured Quarrydale Lincoln Cross fleece that is the color of salted caramel ice cream. That sounds fun. Right. Exactly, Elizabeth. Because... We don't have to pretend that we're not allowed to feel bad about bad things. She said, yes, you can be grateful and still need to acknowledge the crap show that may be going on. Crap show is the nice way to say it, right? <laughs> Crystal said, I'm crocheting the granny square stitch. I can do it without looking. I cannot. Carrie said, yeah, there is such a thing as toxic positivity. Exactly, Trisha, inside thoughts. <laughs> Alice said... Haha, ha, Trish, no, I have to pay even more attention when knitting. Kimberly said, did everyone see? Yes, I saw it. The finished poncho knit from the volcanic bat. I plan to wear it on our vacation when we go to an extreme concert. Okay, hang on. I didn't drop a stitch, but I transferred it without knitting it. Chris said, every time I, I, I hear the name Sunny, I start singing the song from my, what one? The song from my youth. Do I know it? Susie said, I'm new to the tribe. Welcome, Susie. I just got a Hanson e-spinner. Lucky. Love it. Um, and have so much to learn. Jelaine said, speaking things into being love. It works. It at least works on your mindset, right? Carrie said, Kim, that's beautiful. Yep. Karen said to Jelaine, that is have an end game. Lisa said, hey, Susie, welcome. We all have lots to learn. Lisa, okay, I meant to ask this earlier. I saw an argument online yesterday, last night, about saying Hebridean. Is it Hebridean? Hebridean? Please tell me. Are there four syllables to that word? People were arguing about how to pronounce it, and both of them were Americans. So I was like, shouldn't I ask someone who, like, actually can tell me? For sure. Rita said, at least y'all keep it to yourself. <laughs> hey, Lana. Um, hey, Shanna. She said, I save mindless tasks for Fiber Tribe Live, like winding yarn or frogging. Yes, Abir said, John has a very interesting aesthetic. It is fun to watch him work. It's fun for me. Uh, Kimberly said, Michael is watching the live too. Warp, wrapping a warp on his next project. Michael, that's awesome. Are you going to do the dish towels from the handweaving.net 79423 draft? Inquiring minds want to know. Um, Elkie said, I'm spinning merino silk mix on a small e-wheel in the moment. That's awesome. Are you a long-time spinner, Elky? Am I pronouncing it right? I didn't see you say yes or no. George said, I have so much to be thankful for. Every day is truly a gift. Enjoy your journey. You don't know what will happen next. I agree. Hello, Karen Wyman. Welcome to your first live. Julie asked random question. Oh, does it say I'm out? Because I actually am not out. I'll update the inventory as soon as we're done. I'm also going to add the Halloween blend. I know there were some people, I got messages and I was like, I can't ship before I go ship before I go to the fiber festival. So I had the, the website was mostly shut down and, um, I didn't list it yet, but it will be listed. Cause I know there's some of you guys waiting and I, I did 
spin and knit a sample. So I will put a picture in the listing of what it looks like spun and knitted up. Hello, okay. Rita said, now I'm singing Sunny. Alice said, hi Karen, which part of Florida? There are a few of us here, those spread out. Four, so Hebridean. Okay, because they were fighting and I was like, I'm so confused. Carrie said, plying and weaving in ends are good tasks for lives. Weaving in ends, I hadn't thought about that. Jelaine said, I want some of your hand dyed Jacob braids. I will be. Jelaine, there will be more showing up. Yes, Elizabeth said, is that the draft I took pictures of the of at the festival yesterday? It is. And Michael says eventually, but not today. Um, I think Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth, you're not on a floor loom yet, are you? But you have one. Is that right? Hebridean. Hebridean. I'm not sure where the um, emphasis goes. Right, Hebrides, that I got. Hebrides, Hebrides. I think I'm pre pretty close. But you guys don't live there. Lisa lives there. But I don't say it with an accent. <laughs> I guess I do. Hi, Nova. I've recently done gone down the spinning rabbit hole. I wanted to know what is your all-time favorite fi fiber? I love that question. I actually get it a lot. But it depends on what the end um, product is going to be. I have like a favorite for different things, if that makes sense. So I need a little more information. Oh my goodness, you guys are so funny. Alice said, haha, y'all. Lisa said four syllables and she lives there. <laughs> um. Rita said, I dyed some merino magenta yesterday. You guys just try to get me to say things that I don't know how to pronounce over and over again. <laughs> oh, Terry, thank you. Yes, Terry said, hit the like button. Please do if you can. Um, Karen's in Merritt Island. Abir said, speaking of weaving, I ordered yarn for dish towels and the order was returned to sender. Really? The mail coming out of the U.S. is not shipping. Do you know where you ordered it from, Abir? Do you remember? Exactly. <laughs> emphasis. Which syllable should I put the emphasis on? That's what I'm trying to, to figure out. Ella said, awesome, Karen. Lived in Michigan. No. Am I, Co I don't know. Coco for three years back in Orlando. What is am I? Miami? I don't know. Back in Orlando Metro now. Sunny asked what size were the jean rugs I wove. So it is tiny. It's in our camper. It's only, it's just big enough for the camper sink. But I washed it before we left for this trip. And I love it. And it washed up so nicely. And I'm like, I need a new one. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Lisa, that's the cutest. She said, you said great, Trish. Whenever I talk about spinning now, I have your accent. <laughs> That's awesome. Elizabeth said, I, okay, so she said, correct. I bought a floor loom a few months ago, but I don't have room to use it until I move. Right, okay. So you might want to, if you want the number of that um, draft, just message me because I looked it up yesterday for, for Kimber, well, for Michael. And so I still have it up on my handweaving.net history or whatever um oh Jelaine I I used that one in the breed study I can't remember Zvart Bliss is that right Zvart Bliss close enough right you guys know what I'm saying hello Michelle Carla said I wore my Tour de Fleece hand spun sweater Friday to spinning and the lady sitting beside me kept wanting to get to pet my arm because it was so soft. That's cute. Teresa said someone mentioned shearing. Our big excitement this summer was shearing our alpacas ourselves. How was it? Carrie said, Karen, that's so great. 
Lisa said, Teresa, alpaca look big. <laughs> Did you have to tie him down? I'm only asking because that, at, at first, the first time I saw that, it was a little alarming. But now I know that it's fine and it's really for their own safety because they can hurt themselves. Abir said the sender didn't understand what went wrong. They refunded me. Um, Abir, was it a bigger shipper? I wonder what went wrong. It's kind of weird. Well, Margaret said she's got some Javart Bliss, so would like to know how to say it. As far as I know, that's like pretty close. Not exactly. I don't know. Hello, Lori. We haven't seen you in a while, it seems like. Maybe it's me. Karen said, I'd love another breed study, maybe intentional spinning like chic for sheep for sock yarn, etc. Well, there is a sock extension to the breed study that was like six, no, four breed, four breeds? I think four. Kimberly said, I will post pictures of Michael's scarf. First project, it's beautiful. I had to twist his fringe and wash it for him, but the rest was all him. Kimberly, have you looked at those, those um, braid, hair braid twisters for the fringe yet? I recommend it. Crystal, I hope you're not going to buy a skin of yarn. <laughs> a skid? What is it? What's the yarn? Um, hello, Ellie. It says, hi, my mom loves your channel. She's also is getting into spinning her own yarn. Well, that's awesome. What's her name? Is she here? Is she watching with you? Rita said, I can't even spell the Z thing. <laughs> Z marbles thing. I'll just call them Z marbles from now on. Deborah said, who has made a double weave on a rigid heddle? I have done it a few times. My project is turning out to be a very loose weave. I'm very disappointed. Deborah, could that be just because of the, the dent that you are weaving it with for the yarn that you're weaving? Does that make sense? Teresa said, we used a halter lock, which is, you, you, is to say their heads are immobilized, but they are standing in relatively unstressed. Wow. I mean, basically, that's what I was told. Um, Elizabeth said sock study was four breeds. Okay, thank you. That's what I thought because then we I had the sample packs if you wanted to spin along, and I know that had four breeds in it. So Lisa said, I love Schwart Bliss. I will always say that now. <laughs> I like Z Marbles. Chris said breed study. Devin, I think I did do Devin. Down? I don't know. Nova said, I heard you can't do the breed study in Canada. I don't know why that would be, Nova. What What is the... Um, Alice said, sorry, what did I miss? Cats were yelling for meow, oaf, but accepted beef. <laughs> Great. Susie said, what site has... Um, well, I did a four, just a four breed sock like mini extension thing on my breed study. Hello, Sadie. How are you? She said, hello, beautiful lady. How are you? And hello, fiber friends. I'm great. I am. We're having a cooler day here. It was a whole sweaty weekend at the fiber festival. <laughs> Rico said, I have an obsolete brain. Double weave does not compute. Rico, it didn't compute for me either. Please do what you want, but I'm telling you, the it did not make sense to me until I finally actually, like, just one step at a time went through it and then did it a little while, and I was like, now I get it. Um, Rita said, I did once. Deborah, it came out okay. have been meaning to do another one, just not enough time. I think I've done it twice. I did once where it came out, like you know, double weave like this. So it's just one thickness, but then I did once No, I've done it twice where it's closed at both ends. So you're like weaving a tube. 
I still have those little purses that I wove too, and I haven't finished them off. But I think I know what I'm going to do now. I just haven't had time. This is why I never get anything done. I have too many projects going. A beer said to Lisa, that's a good wool, but may, but may not next to skin for everyone. I made a nice hat with it. Crystal said, skein. Oh, got it. Skein is 100% acrylic. I can't find any more in my area, but there is a similar, similar yarn that will work. I think it's called Facet by Loops and Threads. I haven't tried that, but I'll look out for it now. Lana is getting ready to warp. 32-inch Ashford loom to make dish towels. What size dent would you recommend for the big Walmart cones of cotton? For those, I like a 7.5. But it really depends on how tight you want it to be. They, it blooms a lot. And you know the cotton, like, when you wash it and then dry it, it, like, it shrinks, but it, it puffs up a little bit. I don't, it doesn't exactly puff, but it, like, it shrinks in length, but it, like, gets thicker, kind of. Does that make sense? So that's what I like. That's what I do my dish cloths out of, and I would like that for towels. Ellie said she's watching, but I'm trying to help her figure out chatting as she's never done it before. I'm like 40 miles, though. It's hard to help her over the phone. I understand, Ellie. I have that with my mom. Sometimes I take her, like, screenshots of things and circle, like, press here, hit this, and then text it to her, or email it to her. I get it. Chris said, for those who are sort of new, Trish did another breed study series where she discussed two breeds each video from top to spin. It's in her playlist. It is in a tab. There is a playlist tab. Yes. And that has all of them. And the sock study was like an add-on after the fact. I mean, we're not done with studying breeds and stuff. We're just, in fact, Karen Page, she's not here right now, I don't think, unless she's just listening, sent me... Hampshire. I just got it from my post office last week. Alice said, Trisha, I've been using both the double and tube weave to make little bag. Isn't that so cool? She said to make bag purse type stuff while I experiment. Kind of cool. Karen said, maybe wool and worsted getting into a DK. I didn't see those. Did the fibers into the yarn compare? What might you have to add to make something perfect? Rita said, I watched Trisha's breed study. Help me so much. I'm so glad. Carrie is plying a big old skein of lace weight out of the natural colored Romney fleece. Any tips on getting one's daughter to want a wedding shawl? Does anyone have tips on that? I do not. Karen said, hello, Dion. I was just wondering where you were. Um, Karen said, I love the breed study. Hello, Alex. Said, haven't caught a live in a while. Welcome back. Welcome back. I finished a vest made from a raw fleece. I posted it to your Facebook group a while ago. Did you see it? I did, Alex. Amazing. You guys are amazing anyways. I love getting to look at pictures on Facebook. I get to see, like, you guys have so many skills. Oh, thank you, Shelly. It's called Blanky by Shelly Kang. And it's made of leftovers from socks. Jan said, howdy, Fiber Tribe from Jan in Colorado. I'm working on fine-tuning a knitted slipper pattern. Fair Isle, it's a challenge. Get engaged. Um, Lana said, thank you, Trish. I was making them on my 15-inch Cricut, but someone told me they were not wide enough. I mean, I make my dishcloths 14 inches, so you could do the dishcloths on there. Oh, too quick. <laughs> Sorry, Sadie, I think you're leaving. Hugs. I'm sorry, Ellie said I failed with getting her into chat. Buy a beer. Oh, we only have 20 more minutes. Can you believe it? Rita said just make oh, just make it as part of her something new. There you go. She said, Lisa, that's why I want to start now. She's not even engaged. Oh, sorry. Jelaine said, love me some Romney. I know a local shepherdess who raises them. Her fleeces make beautiful yarn. I love Romney. I have quite a bit in my fleece closet. The closet of doom. <laughs> Shanna said, I'm currently trying to track down some Gulf Coast native 
from the Texas coast where I grew up? Did we do that in the breed study? We did not. I don't think I had a um, source. Rico said I got a melange of yarn weights, fully warped. That sounds fun on the 48 inch. I thought I could let some yarns ply while warping. It's random and I spin and weave as I need. That sounds fun. Rico, I need to see a picture of that. Deanne said I'm working on the Weekender with hand spun. Oh, Jelaine said there's a shepherdess in Kansas who sells Gulf Coast Native. Hello, Jen. She said, hi, Trish and everyone. I shore a bunch of Angora goats yesterday and sheep, but I was too afraid to ask for some fiber. I've never spun Angora. I had fuzz up my nose all day, though. Yes, my favorite animal at the fiber um Fiber Festival is the Pygora goats, and I'm not a goat person, but I kind of fell in love a little bit. Elizabeth said, fleece closet equals closet of possibility, not do. Until you open the door and it's up to your neck and you know soon it's going to be trying to come out at you. It's going to try to come at me, bro. Um... <laughs> Jelaine said I, I just got one last month and processed it lovely Chris said oh Chris did the Gulf Coast Native in, in her own breed study Carrie said that's on my list to knit someday Dion Lisa thanks a beer yep take care Jelaine thanks I'll try to track her down Dion said Elizabeth then I have a closet full of possibilities <laughs> you do Karen said, Trish, how do I do the join thing? So if you have an iPhone, what I was told is that you have to get on a different kind of screen. So you have to get on a laptop or an iPad and the join button would be like right under the video, you know, the kind of where the um, subscribe area is. Sorry. Jerry said, I'm using a Turkish spindle. I need to hone my skill. I bought a Navajo spindle. Not sure how much I will actually be using it, but I thought it would be fun to try it. So, Hello, Sharon. Sarah said, those goats were, aren't they so cute? Sarah, you're the same Sarah that was at the meetup, right? Just trying to... Make, put all the names to the faces now that I have more faces. Welcome back, Eileen. Welcome back. Deborah said, You all are so productive. I wish I was. Okay, Teresa said, Yes, I had to get on my laptop to join. Okay, thank you, Teresa. That's what Julie told me too, and she said there is no way. So. <clears throat> Carrie said, that's cool. I hope you do a video on the Navajo spindle. I'm curious. I mean, I guess I kind of have to, right? <laughs> It'll be a while. I just have oh, too much going on. Um, Shannon said, hey, Eileen, long time no see. Sarah said, bought my first spindle yesterday and worked on it last night. Have something close to yarn. Yes, I was there. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you were the correct Sarah. Because we, you know, have more than one of quite a few first names. Eileen said, have fun with your Turkish spindle. Please feel free to get in touch if you need help. That's so nice. I love how much you guys help each other. And I love seeing all the friendships that are cropping up. I know it's been going for a while. I guess my lap's not as comfy as I thought. Um... Dion said, I was looking at a Navajo spindle to buy and talked myself out of it. Well, I'll let you know if you made the right decision. <laughs> it doesn't mean just because I may or may not have that you did it. Chris said, is this fest the same where you bought the piece of artwork? Oh, you can't quite see it. Yes. Chris. Okay, so I brought cash because when I was at her booth last year, she had this bigger piece of artwork that was more expensive, quite a bit more. And it was these really pretty red poppies. And I was like, if she's there, I'm buying the poppies. 
but she wasn't even there. Carrie said the being productive depends on who you ask. I'm really productive with wool, not so much with the house. I took my vacuum apart today and cleaned out all the, like, you know, you know how you have to clean out places that get plugged up and stuff gets stuck. I did that today, so I feel like I'm ahead of the game. Michelle is sticking her toes into the sock pool. She said, I'm really nervous. Don't be nervous, Michelle. It's just string. You can always back it up. Try it again. Knit a new one. Deborah said, how was the meetup? I wish I could have come. I, For me, it was great. Meeting you guys is super fun. I was kind of scared because I'm an introvert and I'm not great in a group. <laughs> but it was awesome. Jen said, question, why are my hand cards labeled left and right? I feel like I'm breaking the rules when I have them in the wrong hands. Okay, Jen. Recently, someone told me this. I do not know. I do not. Mine are not marked. And I switch them all the time. So I don't know, Jen. Shelly said, love your channel. Gotta go. I will have to figure out this volume thing on my phone. I can't hear you. I'm sorry, Shelly. Crystal said, sweet. I'll end this skein at the perfect color to start. The Perfect. Karen is going to Wisconsin Fiber. If anyone is going, when is it, Karen? Jen said the Angora kids were so cute. They had black ones, too. I didn't really think I want. I was a goat person either. I don't need any bucks, though, or at least the smell. No, and it doesn't really go completely away, Jen. Julie said, hey, has anyone dyed wool with onion skins? I know that at least one of you has. Do you have to mordant wool before dyeing? Elizabeth said, Michelle, don't be scared. The worst that happens is you have to rip it out and start over. Exactly. And you were going to be knitting anyway. So what's the difference if you rip the yarn out and knit it again? Carrie said, you are ahead of the game. I was patting myself on the back for doing a load of dishes. <laughs> All the camping laundry is also done. Molly said, I built a warping mill out of PB PVC pipe and a lazy Susan. Long story short, I'm dying myself. Molly, I that's why I bought my warping mill. And I still haven't tried it. Dion said, Julie, I just did this and didn't have more and got a coral color. But up, I think it's if you can mord it and get a deeper color. Or I'm not sure what the word. I think there was a. Deb said, I washed the light globe on my daughter's ceiling fan today. And I feel like my life is together. I get that. I feel that in my soul. I really do. When we moved out of our last house and I like took all the fixtures down to like really clean them before we started showing the house, I was like, I am an adult now. <laughs> I've never done it again. Sandra said, hello all. Hey, Sandra. Um, she just finally, she said, finally, I finished a bunch of dishcloths. That's awesome. Ellie said, my mom gave me her short fibers from wool. I'm going to use them to stuff my amigurumi. I know I'm saying it wrong. I was wondering, does wool lose its fluff? I wouldn't be surprised if, like, over time it just smushed down so it seemed like it lost its fluff. I just, I wouldn't be surprised. But I haven't tried it. Susie said, the cleaning stories are so funny. Jelaine said, I have died with onion skills. No mordanting necessary. I swear to you guys, I told myself last night while I was doing nothing on the couch because I was so tired from the camping trip. I was like, I am going to get this life together, this cleaning life, and it is not going to happen. But I have the best intentions. <laughs> Eileen said, not necessary to mordant before dying with onion skin. I knew Eileen had. I didn't realize quite so many of you have. Rita took a bath. <laughs> you know what, Rita? If that's all you got done today, that's fine. Good job. Good job for taking a bath. Molly said it works great. Just a lot of tie-offs, though. I am, I'm curious about one thing, Molly. When you do it, then when you wind it after, how do you go about doing that? Maybe I just need to look it up. I just, my brain is like, wait too many steps down the road but that's why I bought a warping mill I actually use it for warping now but I haven't made a self-striping sock yarn with it yet 
Dion said you can mordant and get a deeper color. Okay, Karen, so in September, she said 9th through 11th in Jefferson by Madison. I have to say, that is literally the only complaint I have about the Michigan one, is that it is so hot in August. I mean, nine times out of ten, it is so hot. Crystal said, Anne, I'm officially out of things to distract me from that sweater. Oh, and Lisa said, bath, I have a plumbing issue and the hot water doesn't reach the bathroom with enough oomph to fill the bath. Oh, no. That's going to be a problem in a month or two, Lisa. Carrie said, why is it that we do so many good things for our house when we're getting ready to leave it? I don't know. We didn't do... I literally quit work before we moved and spent pretty much full time upgrading, like, everything in the house. Tile, I laid, like... 1,400 square feet of hardwood flooring. I am a whiz with it now. I mean, I hired a cleaner to clean every nook and cranny, and then we moved. <laughs> Shannon said, are you going to Rhinebeck this year? The current plan is yes. We have a, um, a campsite booked. We're going to take the campers so that we can take the dogs, and John will come with me. So the plan, yes, is that right now, we will be at Rhinebeck. And I don't see anything changing, but I'm a little scared. I just have this feeling something's going to go wrong, which probably because last year I didn't make it. Eileen said, for natural dyeing, you can put some old rusty scrap metal in a jar, fill jar with half water, half vinegar, and let stand for a few weeks. What color do you get from that, Eileen? Lana said, I'm considering weaving fiber into fabric to make a clothing item. Any suggestions? On fiber to use, is there a better wearing fiber than others? Oh, thank you, Carrie. Uh, it depends on what you mean by how it will wear. Like, do you mean how will it pill? Will it, you know, all those kinds of things? Is it going to feel good on your skin? Is it going to be outerwear? These are all things I need to know. Lisa said, oh, Margaret, I need to move to England if you get a license, if you need a license there. Deborah said, do any of you remember when people used to wash their walls? I still wash my walls. Do we not have to do that anymore? Because I'm ready to give it up. <laughs> um, I'm ready to start painting over every time. Molly said, Dion, I plan to put together DIY instructions to post. Jelaine said, warping is my brick wall that keeps me from weaving. I have a small table, top loom, that, but warping scares the crap out of me. Well, Jelaine, I'm going to try a new method and film it next time I warp my loom. That I, and when I say new, I mean new to me. I there, you know, There's nothing new under the sun, really. And I'm going to film it, so maybe it'll help you. Molly said, keep your cross sections tied and do the same on top pegs as bottom. I don't know what you mean. Do you you create a cross when you do this? Rita said, and I didn't even smell. Everyone was talking about what they accomplished and didn't want to feel left out. I mean it. When I say good job, I mean that. She said, yep, we did the same thing with our last place. Put down laminate, repainted, all that stuff, yeah. Karen, I think I did it in, in a video, didn't I? It was a Vlogmas video. Maybe you didn't see it, but I did do it. Melody said I mordanted with alum and had deep gold colors. That sounds cool. And Deb said, Carrie, I'm feeling this 100% this past few days. Eileen said when you finish dyeing, you can add a few teaspoons of your iron water to your dye bath. Oh, to sadden the color red onion, I see, will give beautiful green. Ray has two young cats, and they really want to help her warp her loom. That does not sound fun. Carrie said, Deb, there is so much to do with our current place that Dan and I think we're just going to stay here forever. Um, Sandra asked, any fiber shows on the West Coast? That There's Lamb Town in October. Um, I want to see there's another one in California, but I don't know... I'm sure there's another one in California. And there is definitely one in Oregon. 
what is that one called? The like flock or something. Don't quote me. Eileen said, don't leave your wool too long in. Once iron is in your dye bath, maybe five minutes, not longer, or you can damage your wool. I didn't know that. Um, Lana said, Trish, I'm thinking about making a jacket. So if it's a jacket, you can use something that's a little less like soft, you know, because you'll have something on underneath. I, I got to think about what I would suggest. Are you saying not spun, Lana? Like not spun into... You're going to weave it with the locks? Dion only washes walls if she sees dirt. Maybe that's what I should be doing. I don't know why, but I do still do it when I like spring clean. Jelaine said you can also set a timer for... Oh, Carrie said, Jelaine, you can also set a timer for 15 minutes and just warp for 15 minutes at a time. I have done that and I or I'll just do one step and that's it because I feel like it helps me deal with frustration and overwhelm Lana said I just warped a what is oh a branch has anyone tried branch weaving yet Rita said I've used white out rather than paint I like it Rita creative Hello, Mel. I was just thinking about you today. She said, hi, everyone. Hope you're all well. Driving home from vacation today. Saw your get-together in Michigan. So wonderful to see. It was really cool. Molly said, and you guys, I must have not done anything too horrible because a bunch of the people that I met showed up today. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Carrie. Oregon Flock and Fiber. October 15 to 17. Excuse me. That's that margarita. Molly said, wrap the yarn from top to bottom to top. Yes. Yeah. Crossing around the pegs. Oh, as you would for winding warp. Okay. I can do that. That's what I want to do, but I also want to do some more blanks. I don't think so. Eileen said, I, I hoover my walls when they look dusty. Am I mad? I don't think that's weird. I have to vacuum our couch like every single week because Gus puts so much hair on it. Sandra said, all this talk of cleaning reminded me we have company coming this week. I better do some cleaning. Oh, I will do a Google search to find out about the fiber shows. I know there are some. And I know Lambtown is like mid-October. Or it used to be. I suppose anything could change. Carrie said, Jolene, I get that. I haven't woven in a while, partly because of that. I used to be really scared of it, too. I mean, I still get a little bit, I guess, anxious because I know that I never feel competent. I never really feel like I'm doing it as perfectly as I want it to be. But if I let that hold me back, I'll never get to weave anything cool. And I'll never get competent if I let that feeling of, oh gosh, this is hard, which is the feeling that I have. If I let that hold me back, I'll never get past it. Okay, Lana said I would definitely spin the wool first before weaving it. So then I would think like something like Romney would be really good. Um, Shetland would be really nice. I'm trying to think what else would be good. There's quite a few. Jacob would be nice if you want a gray one. <laughs> Andy said, wait a minute, I think I missed something. Crystal said, you aren't mad for it. Popcorn ceiling should be swept off. And yes, definitely. We have some like knockdown popcorn, you know, where it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but they, they spray it up there and then they just knock it down. I hate them. Carrie said partly because I have a boring project still in the loom. I was, before we left, I was spinning, or so, sorry, not spinning, weaving off a couple of bobbins every day because I was using a, um, a boat shuttle. And that was helping me make progress even though I was bored. I was like, if I just sit down, weave a couple bobbins a day, I will still get there. So that's what I've been doing. Andy said I should suck it up and go. It's several hours away and I'd have to go alone. I'm sorry, Andy. I understand, but like 
There's good things about going alone too. You can go at your own pace. You can leave if you get overwhelmed and feel anxious. You can just go. That's one of the things I like about going to stuff like that by myself. Jerry said, isn't it funny how you see your house differently when you know company is coming? And isn't it funny how you think you need to wipe your baseboards, but there's no way in the world that they're going to look at your baseboards, but you feel like you have to? Chris said, Eileen, Eileen Hoover's there's too. Oh, sorry. Chris does too. I got backwards. Dion said, I just cut a piece of fabric off my warp and changed the heddle to a closer set. Next, I'm going to to add on more ends to make it wider. Look at you, Dion. I think you need to come over and work on my work for me. Is that okay? Deborah said, who cleans anyway? My mother always had me wash her walls. I never saw a speck of dirt. I think they did it in the past because of the coal burning heaters. Maybe. Depends on the jacket, Lana. Lana said, how much would I need? Would I need more than two pounds? I, it totally depends. I don't know your size also. It depends on how thick you're going to spin it because if you spin it thinner, you'll need like more yardage as you know, but also if it's thicker, you'll use more because the whole thing will just weigh more. Does that make sense? So it really depends a lot on what you want to make, how big of a jacket, how thick it's going to be, all those things. But like if I was doing it for myself, I would say I would probably get three pounds just to be sure, 100% sure I had enough. But like for me, a sweater, a normal sweater, a pound is usually enough. Gary, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> Kiri said, right, I tell everybody to just do something for 15 minutes and then I don't do it. It's a great way to not be overwhelmed. It's awesome. And you still get stuff done. Jalene said, my preference for attending fiber festivals is going alone. Ray said, I think I prefer doing the indirect warping method. I can do small bundles and pause if needed. So when I, when I warp my floor loom, I do it in at least three bundles. Jalene said, Marilyn Sheep and Wool. I go Saturday with hubby, who for some reason enjoys the festival, then go back Sunday by myself. Exactly, Sharon. You, she said if you go by yourself, you can take your time shopping. Or you can go just, you don't have to stop at things that your shopping partner wants to shop at that you don't want to, you know, not that I mind, but it is kind of nice to just be able to do everything at your own pace. Deb said, OMG, I feel like I'm always wiping down my baseboards. I am too. I wipe my baseboards a ridiculous amount and I don't. They're not dusty, but I guess that's why they never get dusty, right? There's a few spots in the house where they do. Chris said, if there was a fest within five hours, I'd go in alone. Isn't there one in Texas, Chris? Is that more than five hours? Oh, it's time. Rita said, I take my daughter so she can help me carry stuff. Well, now I'm going to be smart and I'm going to start taking a wagon or a cart. Lee had to rent a cart. Bye, Lisa. Crystal said, well, Play-Doh was originally for washing walls back in the wood burn. I didn't know that. Back in the wood burning stove days. <laughs> Deborah said, who wipes space? But maybe they don't get dusty at your house, Deborah. Gus's hair sticks. Melanie said, bye, Lisa. Andy said, if I decide to go, I'll let you know. Maybe we can say hello in real life to Terry. Deanne said, I've looked at the loom for months before I did this, so I wouldn't be that helpful, but I could cheer you on. We'll all cheer you on. Chris said, having said that, in the past, the local guild used to have a conference on a specific day dedicated to fiber. I can't think of the name. Another victim of COVID. COVID. Carrie said, I like going to fiber festivals with Dan because he makes me buy stuff. <laughs> I'm going to Mel. Mel said, show us what you got, Trish. I think Tuesday will be... I did not, I did not go crazy. I didn't even go there feeling like there was certain stuff that I really, really wanted. So, but I will, that will be in the Tuesday video. Lana said, okay, thank you, Trisha. I usually buy large tops, but they're a little big on me. So I want it to be loose over that open front. Probably if you can buy a large and it's a little loose, I would say that you probably can go with two pounds, but then again, it still depends on how thick you want it to be and how like long, 
what the style is. You know what I mean? I don't think that's true. Terry said, all you, all of you would just totally freak about my house because I'm not the best cleaner. You can find dust bunnies pretty much everywhere, so don't worry about it. People come visit. No, don't worry about it. She said, people come visit me, not my house. And I would not freak out. I pulled a huge dust bunny out from under our bed yesterday. I was like, what is that? <laughs> Kim said, I've only gone, I've only ever gone to a festival alone. None of my friends are interested in that hobby. I do enjoy it by myself. I say go. If you aren't comfortable, you can always leave. Jen said, I'm planning on going to the trailing of the sheep. I don't know where that is in Haley, Idaho. It's October, I think, too. Bye, Deborah. Um, Deanne said, maybe I should try Play-Doh on my baseboards. It's worth a try, right? Sandra said, we... Yes, we burn wood to heat our home. Our baseboards get dusty. You know, when we did, we definitely had more dust in the house. But it was awesome if you were washing fleece. I would just put them in the wood burner room and they would be dry like that. Hello, Evie. We haven't seen you in a while. Shanna, Shanna said, dust bunnies don't survive in my house. They get run off by the dust rhinoceri. Mel sitting in the back seat of the truck, knitting on the body of her Paloma. She said, can't wait to get back to my wheel. You didn't take your wheel? I know you've taken it before. Elizabeth said, I felt pretty good about my haul. I didn't go crazy and came home with enough. And about a third of my festival budget still in my pocket. Look at you. I have not. Dion said, Trish, have you weighed how much fiber you can get on the new Carter? I have not. But I really want to do a bat day soon. So I will, the very first one I do, I will make work of that. Just so I can report back. Lana said I would like it a little longer and thick enough so I can wear it on cool, cool days and be warm. Thanks, Eileen. She said don't forget to hit the like button. Chris said rock day. Oh, distaff day. Rita said a small dog makes a great duster. Sorry, not true. Luther makes a great nothing. Except best friend. He does not do any work around this house. He just let out a big sigh like I'm a pain. <laughs> Eileen said, haha, Rita, what do you do? Slide your dog over the floor as a game. Kimberly said, I've been to Trailing of the Sheep twice and love it. Really, Elizabeth, I had six ounces on it already. She said, Dion C, according to the website, it says Trisha's Carter, size Carter, can hold five ounces. That's so interesting. All right, I got to go, guys. This week I will be popping up like a groundhog twice to spin or knit with you so I will see you guys again later this week and there will be videos I'm going to be busy so thank you for being here I missed you everybody have a great week I'll see you all soon thanks I love you <laughs>